Industrious horticulturist Jeff Burmer was understandably angry when he noticed his 2019 harvest dwindling. It turns out a cunning thief had been stealing his tasty greens right under his nose, even after he tightened security. So the farmer installed a hidden camera, and when Permar saw the culprit, he could not believe his eyes. Permar lives on a piece of land in Milltown, Delaware. With his family of five, he grows vegetables to support them. So you can imagine the anger he felt when his crops started to disappear. Someone or something was stealing them. The question is, what could he do about it? At first, Permer tried to intimidate the vegetable thief. But no matter what he did, the culprit was overdetermined. But the matter was not confined to crops. As a keen horticulturist, the orchard was Permer's personal project. In 2019, he told the dodo his impressions on the matter. The father of the three said, At first, I was very upset. I was always a keen gardener and faced loads of problems, but this was something new for us. It was then that he decided that the best way to identify the crop offender was to catch him in the act. So he installed a camera to do it. But would it work? Affected plants are probably a growing problem in the modern world. This is because the market for horticulturists has seen a huge boom since the pandemic began in 2020. The lockdown seemed to have driven people to their gardens in search for something healthy to do. In addition, fear of food shortages has encouraged people to grow their own crops. Magazine editor Jamie Calder told Reuters in 2020 that she is one of those people. It's complimentary gardening, she explained. There's no way this is going to support a family of five, but we're scaling up to try to avoid stores and a little bit more in the coming months. That same year, the Eating Well website reported that 36% of the people in the United States were gardening more, and of those, 65% were inspired by the lockdown to do so. Additionally, the International Association for Horticulture Procedures, AIPH, reported that gardening decreases stress, depression, anxiety, and blood pressure. Well, unless someone is stealing your plants, that is. Now, when there are bugs eating all your work, gardening is a little more stressful. So Permer tried to protect his crops from anyone who might be snipping on his land to take them away. In 2020, he told ABC how he tried to scare the sneaky thief, but all to no avail. Permer commented, no matter what I did to try to protect the garden, he would always find a way in. I would build a higher fence, put wood around the fence to try and protect my things, but he would always find a way. There was nothing I could do. He was always one step ahead of me. It was also not the first time that Permer had problems with food thieves. Its harvest is so abundant that the wild animals of the area are dying to taste it. In fact, the first summer harvest produced enough vegetables to provide his family with a tasty barbecue. And Permer's Instagram revealed, Carrots, onions, potatoes, melons, and tomatoes are grown in the thriving orchard. Permer even grows more exotic things like Italian long peppers and yellow peppers. So your vegetable garden attracts everyone to your yard and all means hungry animals, hence the pest problems. In the past, the horticulturist had tried all sorts of things to keep his food safe. Last year, I even put a T-Rex in the yard to keep birds away. He wrote on Instagram, We assume you are referring to a dinosaur model. Permer has also tried hanging used CDs and even scarecrows. And speaking of scarecrows, Permer is obviously familiar with the birds that steal his crops. But whatever it was this time, it definitely wasn't a bird. That was part of the problem. I was very upset because I didn't know what was eating my garden. He told ABC Radio National's Life Matters program. However, he had some ideas because the crops were damaged in a way that it indicates something was eating them. Thus, Burma deduced that it was some kind of animal and not a human. He revealed to ABC, I thought it was a deer or maybe a rabbit. But how could he find exactly who was responsible? Keeping an eye on his yard constantly wasn't practical. So the father opted for a high-tech alternative. He set up a motion-activated camera to catch the crop-eating bug red-handed. And when he watched the recording, the camera had caught the thief red-handed. The recording showed him brazenly digging in the Permer orchard. The thief left Permer stunned as he stood gazing into the camera. Furthermore, he had a totally carefree attitude. Permer told ABC, I was saying, yeah, I'm eating your vegetables. What are you going to do about it? I was super cool. Now that he had identified the crop rogue, Permer had to decide what to do with him. Some of his friends suggested that the horticulturist finish off the invader to end his thievery career. Others said capturing it and relocating it off the field was a better option. 
but something about the creature made Permer putting aside all the typical ways of dealing with an orchard thief. But what exactly was the enemy of Burmer's orchard? As the pictures reveal, he was a groundhog. To confront the bug, Burmer had to learn a little more about the well-known ground squirrels. As former Pennsylvania State University biology professor Stan Zarvano stated, Mermots are the most widely distributed species of all, with a range that extends both south and north of Alabama to north from Canada, and he added, and some are even found in Alaska. Given this information, Permer wasn't the only one at the Mermit's mercy. Still, he found a way Permer's groundhog approached the camera and devoured the food amusing. It was very funny, the horticulturist told ABC. In fact, he didn't want to stop filming his new friend. I thought it was so funny that I kept recording. So Permer named the groundhog Chunk and decided to share the creature's adventures with the world. And what better way than to open a social media account under the name of Chunk? This is how Chunk the Groundhog YouTube channel was born. Since its creation in 2020, Chunk's YouTube account has over 11 million views and is approaching 99,000 subscribers. On the channel, Permar described how he and his family were absolutely blown by how amazing Chunk is. In fact, the horticulturist began to see groundhogs in every way he hadn't seen before. Instead of seeing the little marmots as mere pests, Permar realized that they are simply hungry, and watching the groundhog eat filled him with curiosity, not least because of the way Chunk seemed to know he was being filmed. Chunk gets in front of the camera and devours our product, Permar wrote on his YouTube profile. He even has the courage to stare into the camera like a boss. It was this attitude that won over many people, and it became Chunk's trademark gesture of power. The groundhog became such a sensation that it even got its own annual impersonators for what has been dubbed the Chunk Challenge. Guess what it consists of? Every year, Parmar asks groundhog fans to do their best Chunk impression and submit it to the contest. In addition to bragging about being the best groundhog impersonator, the winner also receives Chunk merch. And in 2021, the ABC Action News helped the horticulturist with the Chunks Challenge, collecting some of the work to feature on their show. The new entrants had to compete with previous champions, like Croc's boy from Instagram. He chose a video of Chunk eating an apple to mimic it, and the resemblance is uncanny. This one with the apple kills me, one Instagrammer commented upon signing up. Another added, when they appeared on the screen, I screamed. Ella and Eva from YouTube chose a clip of Chunk chewing on broccoli, and her impression is perfect. She perfectly captures the way the groundhog stares into the camera and chews on his food. Other users also think the same. He is so true to life. One person commented on Instagram. Incredible imitation, said another. Despite Chunk's popularity, he soon had to share his limelight. And it is that shortly after Burmar created the Groundhog YouTube channel, another groundhog entered the scene. Yes, Chunk had found a mate, and he took her to dinner in Burmar's garden too. And that's how Chunk's girlfriend Nibbles rose to stardom alongside him. Isn't a couple of adorable groundhogs enough for you? Then you're in luck, since when you know what happens when two groundhogs love each other very much, that's right, they eat a lot. But seriously, Chunk and Nibbles have since had children who have been named by fans of the network. With the addition of Chibbles, Nugget, and Chip, their family is now five, just like Permar's family. But with so many groundhogs invading his garden, you might wonder how Permar manages to produce anything. Well, in 2020, the gardener gave Chunk and his family their own garden to feed themselves. The theory was that if they had something of their own, they wouldn't come back to haunt Permar's crops. With his own plot, Permar explained to ABC that the groundhogs can come and eat and go as they please. Additionally, he watches over this extra orchard and replenishes it with his own produce if Chunk's supply runs low. But he's not the first gardener to try this lure method, as previous Gardening Australia presenter Stephen Ryan revealed. As a veteran horticulturist, Ryan has experienced the involvement of local wildlife. He's had similar problems with his Macedon orchard, plagued by birds and possums that feed on his fruit trees. You end up not getting any fruit because they come and eat absolutely everything, Ryan said. And if you want to garden extra as a method of crop control, Ryan recommends paying attention to what fades. You find that there are certain plants that they really like. However, to avoid attracting more unwanted attention, don't plant too many of these favorite plants. Ryan gave details to ABC Australia. These people who say they feed their possums so they don't eat their gardens, I think they're in Wonderland, because all that happens is they end up inviting their relatives. Vermar says his groundhog garden is working so far, but his optimism is cautious. 
So far so good, reveal Permar. But I'm not too sure, I think eventually they'll take over that. This is how the horticulturist started thinking of the crop stealer of him as a pest, but now he's befriended Chunk and company. Because they have not only changed his approach to crops, but also his entire perspective. The horticulturist continued, I'm more compassionate to the animals and the struggles they go through. They are just here trying to survive, trying to live, and if I can support them, that's what I'll do. Permar says that, technically the land is chunks as well as his. He just planted the food in it. So now Burmar's Instagram and YouTube feeds don't just feature Chunk and his family, he also has other guests like Paasis, the Opossums, and Pesty the Squirrel. But what lies ahead for Chunk? Well, he did win his own team song in 2021 called Chunk Don't Eat Junk, and you know, he's made it to the top when he has his own theme song. Congratulations, Chunk!